Good morning. Are you struggling trying to figure out what's next and how to handle situations? I've got a word for you today. This is Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. This is time for the God Morning Prayer and Devotion. How blessed and thankful we are that we have this opportunity of sharing and starting our day with the Lord. I want to welcome our new subscribers and returning subscribers. Thank you so much. It's good to have you and thankful to see you. I'm going to share with you a scripture, give you an overview of that scripture. Once I share with you the scripture, giving you an overview, we'll have a word of prayer. Once we've prayed, give you a final word of benediction, and then we shall conclude our time and conclude our day. I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. Please like, give us a thumbs up if you hear something that is encouraging and inspiring to you. And as well, most importantly, share the word of God with someone someone that you come in contact with, someone that you meet, share with them the word of God it would be such a blessing. That's our main purpose, to saturate our environment with prayer, praise, and proclamation. So please share the word with someone and as well drop some comments, if you will. Our scripture this morning is going to be found in Nahum, unusual book, book of Nahum, chapter one, verse seven, Old Testament book, Reading from the New Living Translation, it says, The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust in him. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7, Christ withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. Oftentimes we're struggling trying to figure out what's next, how to handle our circumstances, our situations, we're overwhelmed with challenges. Are you dealing with things that are too much for you to handle? Are you dealing with circumstances that are too great? Are you troubled? Well, this verse is for you because it says he's close to those who trust in him. He's a strong refuge when trouble comes. We're all overwhelmed with something. We're all going through something. But the good thing about God is that his mercies are everlasting. He provides for us direction and guidance. He helps us in those uncertain times. He is near to us when we need him the most. That's why we should put our trust in him. The writer says the Lord is good. Even in troubling times, the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures unto all generations. If we put our trust in him, we will find the answer and the solutions and the direction that we need. Wrestling with which direction to go, seek God trying to find an answer on how to handle a situation, trust and seek God. Listen to his voice, follow his divine command. Do what the Lord says. He will guide you. He will lead you. He will instruct your life. I thank God for this word today. I pray that it blesses you as it has blessed me. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we honor you. We thank you and we bless you. Thank you for this day, for this time, for the privilege of sharing, for the wonderful opportunity of starting a brand new day, Sunday morning, and how blessed we are that you've kept us. We thank you for watching over us and we're blessed by the privilege of being alive. We ask that you would cover us today as you have covered us in days past and gone, that you would keep us and keep your hand upon us. Today, we seek your guidance and your direction and we call upon your name because we know that you provide us with direction, you keep us, you sustain us by your might and by your power. And we're thankful and we're blessed today. We come seeking you for guidance and direction, for help and healing, for our happiness. We trust and depend upon you. We come today praying for pastors and churches as we're praying for worship. Make Sunday a blessed day. Let us receive your power and, and feel your presence. Let us through your Holy Spirit, as we enter into the sanctuary, as we come seeking answers and solutions, we pray, God, that you will meet every need and that you would grant direction. We come hoping and trusting that you will hear and answer our prayer. Bless the worship experience today. I'm praying for first responders and healthcare workers and praying that you would lead, guide, and direct, that you will continue to direct their lives and that you would continue to speak to them. Pray for our civil leaders our appointed and elected officials, we pray for them to be kept in every way. We pray for our communities, our homes, our neighborhoods, our families. We pray for 
protection and for covering of your precious blood in our communities and in our neighborhoods. Please help us in every way. We seek peace in the land. Our world is filled with so much trouble and there's so much sorrow and suffering in so many places. We need you, God, and we need your direction. We pray that you will show up in every situation and that you will bless us abundantly is our sincere prayer. We come praying for healing for those that are in hospitals, those who are in rehabilitation, those who are battling various conditions. We come seeking healing and direction for their lives. We pray for our homeless and those with special needs. We pray, dear God, that you would bless them, those who are wrestling with the depression. We pray that you would speak to them, those who have anxiety, whoever they're suffering from and with. We pray, God, that you will give them peace that you'll allow your grace and mercy to abound in their lives. We come today praying for miracles to be performed. We lift up Yandi Kyles. We pray for Stan Pope, praying for miracles in their lives, and praying for John Powell, praying for healing and for miracles, for great things and to be done for him and with him. Praying for Relina's son, to teach blessings upon him, and praying that you would heal him and that you would bless him. I pray as well, dear God, for Gordon LeBlue, and that you'll continue to give them strength and power. We lift up Gordon and Jane, pray for Terry and Lisa, praying blessings upon them and their family. Pray that you'll bless Gordon, touch him, lifting up Betty Sims and asking that you would continue to bless Miss Betty and that you'll continue to give her strength and courage and power, that you'll continue to bless them, her family, and as well bless Stan and, and Renee as they give care and keep watch and pray that you'll continue to bless them, give them strength and courage. I pray that you'll give Ms. Betty the desires of her heart. She desires to be stronger. I pray, God, that you'll give her strength, strengthen her legs, strengthen her body, give her courage and continue to bless and keep her and make your face to shine upon her. We pray for Mr. Van Drummond and thank you for the miracle that you worked in his life. We pray for continued blessings on Mr. Drummond and that you'll continue to Give him strength and continue to bless him with long life and divine favor. Thank you for Greta and Eric. And we pray that you would protect them as they travel and as well give them safe return. We lift up Molly. We pray for Manisha. Pray for Veronica, their entire families. We're lifting up Ebony and praying for um, Evelyn. Praying that you'll be with Evelyn and continue to keep your hand up on her and bless her in the name of Jesus the Christ. Lifting up Cheryl Grant, Pastor A.C. Stapleton, A.C. Stapleton, Pastor Donald Parson, praying for Pastor Luther Williams, lifting up Pastor William McKinley Jackson, praying for Pastor Andre Love, praying for Pastor Daryl Horton, Pastor Kevin Workman, Pastor Eshawn Williams and lifting up Reverend Illinois, praying for his entire family, praying for Pastor and Sister Eddie Brown in Fort Worth, Elder and Sister King, praying for Deacon and Sister Jackson, praying for the Cartwright family, Ronald and Yvonne Cartwright, Dorothy Smith, Roy Williams, Anthony Johnson, praying for churches and pastors and preachers everywhere, especially lifting up Pastor Herbert Walters, Sr., and the Good Faith Baptist Church in Plano. I'm praying for Fellowship Christian Center, Pastor Stafford, lifting them up, praying God that you'll be, be with them and bless abundantly today. We pray for families everywhere and lift up all of the families that are part of our family and part of our church and as well those that we're connected to. We lift them up unto you. We pray for Karen Haney, Ife, Eichner and or Iker and Dion Ramos, lifting them up unto you, praying for blessings and healing and direction for their lives. Pray for Doris Harris, Charlene Bright, Linda Bird, Sandra Thornton, Mother Rock. Praying for Derek Streamley, Kenneth Fabian, and India Matt, Calvin Teeterton, Denise D. Fairley, Darius Timmons, Terry Hornsby. Praying for Wendy. Praying for all of those that are at the Heritage, John and uh, George, we're praying for Steve and Mary, praying for Sandra and Sandy, all of those 
We lift up unto you, praying for Timothy Cliff, Cameron Foley. We pray for divine direction and for healing in all things. We pray for your hand of protection to be upon us. I lift up my family and I pray for families everywhere, but in particular, I pray for my family. I pray blessings upon them. In divine favor, I pray that you'll keep us and make your face to shine upon us and that you'll grant direction in all things. I pray for my children, especially. I pray, God, that you'll be with them and that you'll protect them, watch over them, praying for them. <clears throat> them to have strong futures, for them to trust in your will and your divine plan, to hear your voice, and to follow and accept your, your plan and your purpose for their lives. God, please hear and answer my prayer. I pray today for the worship at the Shalom Community Fellowship Church. I pray that you'll abundantly bless us and that you'll supply for our every need, that you'll meet us at the point of needs and that you will bless us abundantly as we come and assemble in worship today. I pray that the worship service will be impactful, that you will fill hearts and fill minds, that even now you will touch those who are debating on whether or not they'll come to worship. Give them a mind to be in worship and a desire to be in your presence. God, please hear and answer my prayer. Pray as well, dear God, that you would continue to direct my life and continue to instruct me on the things that you would have me to do, that I'll live according to your will and your plan, and I'll follow your purpose and that in all things you will be pleased with me. Please, God, hear my prayer. Continue to enlarge my territory and give increase. And I pray that you'll do the same for your people. Those who are seeking you, let them find you and let them find rest in all situations. God, please hear and answer my prayer. God, if you do these things forever, we will give you praise, glory, and honor. It's in the matchless name of Jesus to Christ we pray. Amen and thank God. Blessings to you today, Pastor Irvin and Barrett. And again, we're thankful that we have this opportunity and this time of sharing this blessed privilege of being together to start another day and especially to start Sunday morning. Listen, you need to be in church. Hope you're getting ready to be in worship today. If you don't have a place to attend, join us at the Place of Peace, Shalom Community Fellowship Church in Allen, Texas. Service uh, will be at 11.15. We start a new time today. We have a 10 a.m. service off campus, and then we'll have our regular service at 11.15 at the Place of Peace. Look forward to you being with us and joining us at that time. Have an amazing day. May God be with you. Make his face to shine upon you. Please, once again, give us some likes, thumbs up, some comments in the chat, and as well, most importantly, share the word of God with someone. Let someone know what God is speaking and saying through his word. Have an amazing day. May God be with you. Make his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. Please know nothing's going to happen to you today that God has not already equipped you and prepared you to handle. He's given you all, every tool and every resource that you need for success and favor. So be blessed. Pastor Irvin and Barrett saying, have a fantastic day.